Hi everyone, welcome back to the Ruby League History Channel. Tonight's video is going to be the 2022 Paul Carriage Award. This is an award that predates the Ruby League History YouTube channel and even the Ruby League History Facebook channel. I created this award back in 2013 and it's named after Parramatta player Paul Carriage who played 45 matches for the club between 1997 and 1998 and he is infamously known for his performance in the 1998 preliminary final against Canterbury where Parramatta led 18 points to two with less than 10 minutes to go and lost that match and a place in the grand final. Paul Carriage had a particularly bad match and made some very crucial errors towards the end of the game. So the Paul Carriage Award is given out every year to the rugby league player who has the worst performance in an NRL finals game. And we have three nominations tonight. Last year, we had two or three nominations. Of course, there's the role of honour as well, which I'll be reading out. But let's start off with the first nomination, the first of three tonight. The first nomination tonight is Cunulla's Connor Tracy. He is nominated after his performance in the 2022 qualifying final between Cunulla and North Queensland at Shark Park with about... Eight to nine minutes to go. Cronulla were leading the match 30 points to 22. It looked like Cronulla were going to win and get the week off at North Queensland expense. Then Chad Townsend put a kick through for Valentine Holmes. And instead of going for the ball and trying to make a play at the ball, Connor Tracy decided to take out Valentine Holmes. The referee said it were a professional foul. Connor Tracy was sent to the sin bin for 10 minutes. And as we all know, North Queensland come back. They got a try right on full arm there to Jason Tamalolo. Connor Tracy didn't come back for the rest of that uh, regular 80 minutes. And then, as we all know, in the first half of Golden Point extra time, Valentine Holmes kicks a field goal from about 40 metres out, maybe 42, 43 metres out, and wins the game for... North Queensland and how different could have Cronulla's final series been if it wasn't for the actions of Conor Tracy of course there's going to be some people out there that say that he was trying to go for the ball but looking at the replays a lot of the commentators said that he was definitely trying to take out Valentine Holmes the referee agreed that as well so as we all know Cronulla went out in the following week they could have had the week off they could have had a preliminary final in Sydney, but as it turns out, they had to go to the SFS, the brand new SFS, where they were easily accounted for by South Sydney. So Connor Tracy is the first nomination tonight in this award. The second nominee is Paramatta's Wonga Blake. He is nominated for his performance in the 2022 qualifying final against Penrith at Penrith Park. Wonga Blake had an absolute shocker. He ran for 66 metres, made four errors, did three kick returns for only 10 metres and made three hit-ups for the entire match. And to put that in perspective, Maratna Nakare, who played off the bench, ran for 97 metres and he didn't play as many minutes as uh, Wonga Blake. Of course, Nathan Cleary terrorised Wonga Blake all night with some high kicks. One of them led to a try. Some people say that Jerome Luai knocked on in the build-up to the try, but it was ruled a try anyway. And his performance in the qualifying final there was talked about for the rest of the final series, even leading up to the grand final. Everyone was talking about how badly Wonga Blake played in the qualifying final and how Nathan Cleary tormented him underneath the high ball. He did slightly better in the grand final, but I use that word... Loosely, so Wonga Blake is the second nominee. And the third and final nominee is South Sydney's Tony Mill for his performance in the 2022 preliminary final for South against Penrith. He became the first player in 28 year in the finals to be sent off after he hit Spencer Lenu with a stiff arm in the second half. He made 73 metres in, in runs, two errors, Three kick returns for only 24 metres. And if you look at his opposite winger, 
on the other side of the field for South, Richie Kenny run for 135 metres and Hammy Selly off the bench run 125 metres. So he, he didn't have a good match, a good contribution and that were capped off. In the second half, South Sydney was still in the match who were eating 12 to Penrith when Tony Milne was set off for that tackle on Spencer Lenu. And as you can see from the uh, pictures there, Spencer Lenu wasn't happy with the tackle and he wanted to kill Tony Milne. And he had to be held back by some of the Penrith officials and trainers. And I think Tony Milne, he, he really just buried South's chances in that preliminary final. So he gets me third and final nomination for the Paul Cabbage Award. And the winner of the 2022 Paul Cabbage Award, sponsored by Rugby League History, goes to Drum Roll, please. Tony Milne. Tony Milne is the 2022 Paul Cabbage Award winner for his shocking performance in the preliminary final against Penrith, where he pretty much killed any chance of. South Sydney getting back in that game. He was the first player sent off for 28 yeah, in a finals match and he's rightly deserved to be sent off for that stiff arm on Spencer Lenu. A moment of madness. Something that he'll probably remember forever. Something that South fans will probably remember forever. And he was suspended for six matches over the incident as well and rightly so. So Tane Milne is the 2022 Paul Carriage Award winner. And now, the Roll of Honour. To conclude the video, these are the winners of the Paul Carriage Award, starting with David Williams in 2013, Tony Williams 2014, Ben Hunt 2015, Edric Lee 2016, Blake Ferguson 2017, Cameron Munster 2018, Darius Boyd 2019, Mitchell Moses 2020, Ray Stone 2021, and 2022 Tony Milne. So that concludes my video for tonight on the Paul Carriage Award. Let me know if you thought that I made the right decision and made the right choice. Type in the comment section below. Of course, in the comment section, I'm expecting some comments to say, How dare you make an award like this? And how dare you ridicule players and all that? At the end of the day, it's just a bit of fun. It's something I've been doing since 2013. Don't take it too personal, please. But that concludes the video tonight. I've got some more videos coming out very shortly. I've got the Neville Glover Award to do. I pretty, I think I'm going to be expecting some hatred and some nasty comments coming my way for that. And I've got the View from the North podcast tomorrow night with me co-host Just Rugby League. And we'll be talking about the Rugby League World Cup. Of course, both of us will be at that opening match England against Samoa. Hopefully England can win. They're at St James's Park on the Saturday. We'll just have to wait and see. This has been Rugby League History. I'll catch us all later in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Tatty bye for now.